Hey, this is Flo and in this video I will show you an API service that you can write once and use for almost any JSON API. First of all, if you like my content, then please consider liking the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. There is much more to come. But let's get into it. So what is this API service? It's actually not a lot of code and this is the whole service. And uh, over, the, over the course of this video, I will explain how it works and how you can actually use it to um, communicate with a JSON API. So of course it is built using Combine as I have already shown in a couple of other videos. I also have a Combine introductory video which explains the most common publishers and subscription methods. So you can also check that one out. Um, but let's go over this function. So as you can see it's a struct called API service with just one static function uh, called get. And what it does is it creates a data task publisher from the shared URL session for a URL that's passed uh, as a function argument. Then um, this data task publisher delivers an element which contains an HTTP response and the data, which is not formatted, so pure data with um, no structure. And this try map uh, modifier basically just checks that our response is okay, so status code 200, and otherwise it throws a bad server response URL error, and then in the end just returns the data that we got from the data task publisher. As you can see, this function is generic for any type T that is decodable. So um, we can then just call the decode modifier for the type T with a JSON decoder and in the end erase all of this to an any publisher so we can return an any publisher of our generic type T and some error. Okay, so this actually seemed quite simple. Let's see it in action. First of all, if you want to use this, you need to create a model for the data that you will have. For that, you can just um, do an API call in your browser. So I've used the JSON placeholder API here um, which has a couple of routes and I chose the users route which just gives you back an array of users with with some names, emails, addresses and so on. And uh, what you do then is you uh, do this request in your browser just as you would open any website. I have installed a plugin to Chrome which um, formats JSON nicely but it's actually not even needed. You just have to copy everything that you get back in the response for now. Then what I'm always using is a free Mac app called Ducky. So you can find this in the Mac, Mac App Store. And this is how the app looks. So um, in the top text field, you just paste in everything that you copied from uh, your browser. So basically the JSON. And then Ducky genera automatically generates a Swift model for you. This also works for a couple of other languages, but we're limiting it to Swift right now. So as you can see, it automatically created a user struct, an address struct, and so on. And then you can uh, just grab all of that code and paste it to Xcode in a user.swift file, for example, as your model. Next up, you need to create an actual service to get the users. And this is incredibly easy, thanks to our API service that we just wrote. So I created a new struct called user service, created a static function get users, which returns an any publisher um, of type array of the user model that we just generated through Ducky and some error. Then of course you have to create a URL. Um, don't forget to use HTTPS instead of HTTP because Swift can only make secure web calls. So you always need to use HTTPS endpoints. And then you just return the static function from our API service. So return API service dot get and put in the URL that you just created. And that's all to fetch the users as a publisher. Now you also want to handle the results. So you need to create a subscription. So you also have to subscribe to this publisher to receive the data which I did in a view model. So I created a function load, which calls the static function get users on the user service. 
subscribes to that publisher using the sync method. I just do a very simple completion handling here, so basically error checking. You could do this in much more detail in your real life application, but this is just an example. And then in the receive value block, I capture weak self because I'm, uh, I don't want any retain cycles and I need to update a variable. So in this case, uh, I get all the users back and I just assign the name of the first user to my value variable. And then in the end, I need to store the subscription in a cancelable set just to have a strong reference to the data stream. And since I uh, update the UI based on the value attribute, which I assigned the first user's name to, I need to receive this subscription on the main thread because background UI updates are not allowed in Swift UI. Okay, so pretty easy as you could see. Now uh, let me quickly explain what you need to change if you want to use this API service struct or any other JSON API. So first of all, you need to create a model for your JSON via Ducky. You need to, you need to create a service for your model so basically the same as our user service, just for your model. Then you need to subscribe to the publisher like I did in the view models load function and update the appropriate variables. And that's basically it. So this is just a very, very simple way where you can reuse the code to work with basically any JSON API endpoint. Okay, so that's it. If you enjoyed the video, once again, I ask you to consider subscribing to the channel Please like the video and ask me any questions in the comments or suggest another video idea and I will see you in the next one. Bye.